No, I, probably, I probably wouldn't tell you if I was, Will, would I? No, no, no. no and, and I wouldn't... I wouldn't and, I, <laughs> and we, we wouldn't tell anyone else no, either. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anybody else either, Sir Bernard, if I was. So. What is it you won't tell us, Prime Miniature? Is it that Shamla Sunak is really part of the powerful deep state? Well, during the Liaison Committee meeting before Easter recess, Chair of the Public and Administration and Constitutional Affairs Committee, William Rag, asked our Tetra Short Pants about a certain Prime Minister's statements. Now, last year, when I asked you about your views of characterisations of the civil service as a blob, uh, resisting government policy, you, you stressed your faith in the, the competency and in integrity of the civil servants that you've, you've worked with. Uh, that's, that's still the case? Yes, uh, very, very much so, and particularly as Prime Minister, as it was as Chancellor, the support I receive on a daily basis in then number 11 in the Treasury and now number 10 is superb, and I'm very grateful for it. What are your thoughts or comments on your predecessor when she... Uh, says she was undermined by, quotes, the, the deep state. Yeah, I think that's probably a question for her rather than me. But I'm just keen to, keen to hear your view, Prime Minister. Is, Sorry? is, there, is there a deep state? Or are you part of it? Am I part of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably a question for her. <laughs> no, I, pro I probably wouldn't tell you if I was, well, would I? No, no, no. no I, I, and I wouldn't... I wouldn't and I, <laughs> and we, we wouldn't tell anyone else no, either. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anybody else either, Sir Bernard, if I was. So... But it's not just a case of perhaps a, a few chaps getting, you know, overly excited after a good lunch, say, at the Garrick, is it? <laughs> that is my question for her. <laughs> OK, so... What a gutless, pathetic individual our Prime Minister is, isn't he? I mean, just say that, yes, our lettuce Liz is absolutely mad as a box of frogs and shouldn't be allowed anywhere near the back benches, let alone the front benches, or even have a mic shoved in front of her face to spout her utter drivel. Now, if William Rag had have asked what our Tetra Short Pants thought about a certain woman who had the audacity to buy her own council home and then sell it for a profit and is now deputy leader of the Labour Party, I bet he wouldn't have shut up about it, eh? A former Prime Minister talking out of her ass? Well, better ask her. Now, can you imagine if William Rag had have asked about his thoughts about a certain human rights lawyer who, under cab rank rule, doesn't have the choice about who they represent or give advice to, gave advice to an organisation before they were registered as a terrorist organisation. I bet he would have been all over it like a rash. Grow a spine to call out a former Prime Minister's conspiracy theories, Mr Softy shirks it. And what if William Rag had have asked him to spend his time roasting everything the SNP hadn't got right? I bet Sir Bernard Jenkins would have hung on to every syllable. Criticised the human hand grenade for accusing the civil service of being part of the walk blob. Don't ask me, I'm only the Prime Minister, mate. Now, can you imagine the mess our Tetra Short Pants would have made of his own short pants, I suppose, if William Rag had have asked him to tear into Welsh Labour for six minutes? I bet our Prime Minister's cum face wouldn't change for that six minutes flat. Now, try to get him to talk about a former PM who nearly destroyed the economy and lost to a lettuce, be Liz who? Never heard of him. But what do you expect from a gutless, pathetic coward who is so scared of his own party, he daren't even criticise someone who is so unpopular, she's now even toxic within the party membership, isn't she? But what do you guys think? Let me know down below and I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.